Hey guys, my name is Jason Carr. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy on YouTube. My goodness, it is a beautiful morning out here. A little bit of a breeze, she's chilly. And the frost is melting off the vehicles. Over here. Over here, these ones don't face the sun, so the frost stays on them a little bit longer. days here how to do that I gotta take here without the cable and get the sizes here this size right here yep. to join that one gotta get that to fit I drilled those they're not threaded anymore so I drilled them so they go together Just slide together slide together so I gotta get it that way then I gotta take and slide the cable up through it here I'm not sure where I go from there if I can put the cable up through here a whole thing and I'll take these pieces off, keep sliding them back on. So if I try to do it here, I'm gonna break this piece here. Yep. I gotta have this part solid with everything mounted, and then try to worry about the cable later. Might have to unbolt the windshield. And get this piece to go in there and behind it. Now. All right, so the vehicle that we sold down in St. Andrews last week, get it undercoated for her. So we are going down to Cars Transmission and we will get that done. history on cars transmission in 1983 my dad moved the whole family five of us to st. Stephen from Fredericton in an effort to start a transmission shop which became very successful with being right on the border we received a lot of business from uh, the American side and in the 17 years that dad ran that shop you know, it, it proved to be quite successful. So my dad retired early at the age of 49 and sold the business to his employees and they still run it today. And we still do some business with them for things like undercoating and uh, you know, some warranty work on you know, things that we can't handle at our shop. So Larry and Sheridan, brothers uh, who run the place down there, you know, they're, they're great guys to deal with and they're very knowledgeable. And, uh, and look right after us. So uh, after dad retired, he thought that you know he was going to officially retire. But at 49 years old, that's not very old to do that. So they built a house and you know did some projects here and there. And uh, part of that project was him working on my car and getting my car painted, the Cordoba, and ready for me to drive and, and, uh, and start working away at. So. That was part of that package, you know, in his old retirement uh, that, uh, that I ended up put him to work. But in 2008, when the markets crashed, you know, it was time that Dad decided to uh, go back to work. So him and I come up with the idea of, you know, just selling a couple of cars on the side, eventually getting our dealer license in the fall of 2008. And that's why this year, in 2018, we are celebrating 10 years in business and very proud to be able to do that in St. Stephen and uh, the surrounding area so that's just a little bit of a history on where you know where we come from or where, where my dad comes from as part of getting the uh, you know getting us here to st stephen and being you know business owners uh, i was young enough that i didn't have a whole lot to do with the uh, with the transmission shop although 
I did spend some summers down there working, getting, you know, getting dirty, taking transmissions in and out, and, you know, learning how to do oil changes, learning uh, a lot of the skills that my dad taught me, I learned down there. So I'm thankful for that because, you know, today my dad and I were lucky enough to be able to work together and, uh, and we work really well together. So not too many people can say that they work with family and they actually get along. So I, for one, am proud to say that I work with my dad and uh, we get along really well and, you know, we've become closer for it. So. And we are just about ready to pull in here. Well folks, it is Friday night and we are just getting ready to head to Vermont. And the reason why we're heading to Vermont is because we're getting our dog Sadie a new friend. Uh, we lost one of our dogs last year and Sadie we feel like Sadie needs to have a friend, a companion, so we've adopted her from a place called Texas Chihuahua Rescue, and they are en route to meet us in Vermont. Uh, we're meeting them down there to pick up our dog, so we're going to get the cage and the kennel all packed up in the other 2013 Dodge Journey, and we're going to record the trip. So we just finished up our 1300 kilometer whirlwind trip to Vermont and back. And now my father is taking this Dodge journey to Halifax today and back tomorrow. So all this weekend, including tomorrow, we'll have racked up probably somewhere around 2,500 kilometers on this thing. It's pretty crazy. So one of the things that we noticed when we took this Dodge Journey on our little road trip was it had a little bit of a rattle underneath and I think it's the heat shield for the exhaust. So we're going to get it up in the air and see if that's what it was. Sure enough, I can see it already. That'll do it, every time. So the problem with these heat shields is that eventually the holes that the little nut and bolt go through to hold them on, they get worn and they just pull through. So we're going to put a washer on it and uh, hopefully cover that hole, get her tightened up again. There, she shouldn't be flopping around anymore. Well, we're leaving the Dodge Journey for Dad to go on his trip to Halifax, and we're hopping back into the dirty Pathfinder. And I am happy to be back in the Pathfinder. I do like that journey though. It's uh, it's really good on fuel, lots of pep, and uh, you know quite a few creature comforts with the built-in GPS that ha helped us navigate through uh, through Massachusetts when we were going down and, and back through uh, New Hampshire, Upper New Hampshire, uh, on our way back. So all in all, it was a good trip, and we had fun. We've got a new dog to the family, and uh, we're pretty excited to start that journey too. Stay tuned for more updates on the 36 Dodge as well as my car. I'm going to get the Dynamat uh, product installed here very soon. And please, thanks for sharing these videos. We're on the verge of hitting 70 subscribers. I'd like to see 100. That would be great. So if you want to see more videos, please click the box beside me and to subscribe, click the bubble above.
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next upload.